Hello, it's me, Keith, Reactor Mater, and we're here for episode two of Midnight Mass. It's book two, Psalms, and I have no idea what's going to happen, but I am very excited to find out. So let's not do a lot of talk about it right now. We'll talk about it afterwards. Last week's was pretty good, but it had a couple of long slow spots with a bunch of yada yada. So we'll see what happens this time. But I am quite excited, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, get started. Yeah. Okay. Ew. <laughs> oh, well, that's a dog. I thought they were all... Oh, no, it's not a dog. It's a cat. I don't know what animals are. Apparently. Get a haircut, hippie. Bum ba dum bum bum. It shows a lot of God. Well, it's called Midnight Mass. I guess I shouldn't be surprised by that. Bum ba bum. What was that about? These camera moves where they lag behind. She can see in the room before we can. Motussin. All of a sudden, I get the feeling that he is Monsignor. D.H. That leans into why everybody else is playing older with makeup on. Is there going to D.H. too, maybe? I don't know why. I don't know what the plot elements are, but... in disguise that would actually explain everything the guy with the coat and the hat was him I still don't know what's in that damn box though you would just stick yourself there mama <laughs> Still dead. Seven deadly sins.
Is that a model shot? Whatever it is, it's awesome. I saw a video on YouTube. I didn't watch the video, but I saw the thumbnail. There was one word in the thumbnail. And I think it spoiled what's going on here. To a degree. That was the scariest moment of this episode. <laughs> they still do. I'm sure that's him. I know. I get it. Unless we find out it's really not him. Satan. Could it be? Mm, Satan. Oh my. It's not his back, it's the cancer. Speaking of speaking in a weird accent. I don't, I don't really know where these people are located. They don't really have a to a localized accent from anywhere. No. Yeah. Didn't she have to unlock that door to get in there? Uh huh. Uh huh. Wow. That was so intense, it was almost a fist fight. <laughs> that was great. No kidding.
<laughs> Monsignor Pruitt said, Monsignor Pruitt said. Okay, so something seriously was walking around on the roof and just jumped off. I'm getting signs vibes. Oh. And she's like, did you not see that? That was creepy. Oh, girl, your windows are filthy. There's Mothman Prophecy vibes here now. I love that movie, by the way. Don't go in there. Who would... No, he's not going... No. Who would do that? No one would do that. I'd walk faster. Hello. Hello. Somebody there? <laughs> no, 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 Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Dumbass. Do not go in there. Ugh. Don't make me look. Is that you? Hooker? Hooker? Hooker. <laughs> I know it. What did I say first episode? As soon as I saw her. Oh good, somebody in a wheelchair that we can cure. Father, what are you doing? I'm proving that she's been faking this whole time. <laughs> Woo, you're making everybody mad now.
<laughs> Ooh, that got me a little teary. Well, that was a really good episode. It had some big old slow parts in it, but man, I was going to say that thing that, um, you know, before it leapt up and knocked that guy's hat off. Because in these shows, we didn't actually see him die. All we saw was his hat fly out of the place. So I am not taking anything for granted. Maybe he'll just be there the next day going, I must leave my hat. Lord have mercy, that was scary. You know that woman killed that dog. We still don't know what has murdered all those cats. What's going on with that lady? Is she going to have a change of heart, finally? Because now she knows, knows that God exists or miracles do or something? I don't know. But we're going to find out. And I'm going to keep watching this to the bitter end and post every episode. Not the episodes, but you know, the segments. And uh, so next will be episode three. Okay, bye. 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 I hope that went well. Seems to.